Hi dear students, this is a problem from the time domain response from the Paul Zero plot. See the question, for the given network function, draw the Paul Zero diagram and hence obtain the time domain response. Verify this result analytically. Here, i of s is equal to 3 of 3s divided by s plus 1 into s plus 3. So, let us solve the problem. First of all, here the network function for current is given that is i of s is equal to 3s by s plus 1 into s plus 3. So, here you are asked to find out draw the pole 0 diagram. First of all, you have to find out the pole 0 diagram. Then you have to find out the time domain response from that pole 0 diagram. And also after getting the time domain response, you have to verify the result analytically. That is using the usual mathematical procedure. So first of all, let us start with this network function i of s. See, we know that network function is in the form of a rational function that is p of s by q of s. p of s is the numerator polynomial and q of s is the denominator polynomial. So here numerator polynomial is 3s, right? So, P of S is equal to 3S. What is denominator polynomial? It is Q of S. So, Q of S can be written as S plus 1 into S plus 3. So, here you know that what is the zeros? Zeros are the roots of numerator. So, here the zero value will be S is equal to 0. That means for the value of S is equal to 0, the network function I of S will become 0. So, that is the significance of that 0. So, 0 value will be S is equal to 0. So, what are the poles? Poles are the roots of the denominator polynomial. Here, there are two poles. One pole is locating at S is equal to minus 1 and other pole is locating at S is equal to minus 3. So, there are 1, 0 at S is equal to 0 and one two poles at S is equal to minus 1 and S is equal to minus 3. So, we can draw the pole 0 diagram as a Zeros are marked by circles at that are originated that as uh, that are located at origin. That means a zero is at origin, and there are two poles that are at s is equal to minus one and s is equal to minus three. So they are marked as cross symbols. So this is your pole zero diagram. So what is the next step for getting the time domain response? First of all, you have to Write the I of S in the partial fraction expansion method that is I of S will be equal to A by S plus 1 plus B by S plus 3. So you have to find out the value of A and B. And in this form, see this is in the form of A by S plus 1 and B by S plus 3. You know that in this case the response will be, we don't know the values of A and B but you know 1 by S plus 1. If we are taking the inverse Laplace transform, we will get instead of i of s, we will get i of t. For instead of this quantity, you know that it is a Laplace transform of e raised to minus t, right? So you can write it as a into e raised to minus t is the inverse Laplace transform of this function. Similarly, here we are getting b by s plus 3. And you know that it is inverse Laplace transform of e raised to minus 3t. So you can write it as b into e raised to minus 3t. So, i of t can be written as a into e raised to minus t plus b into e raised to minus 3t. Here, we don't know the values of a and b. So, we can find out the value of a and b from the pole 0 diagram. So, we have this pole 0 diagram like this. So, we are using the pole 0 diagram to find out the value of a and b. And for that, we have to consider the pole. First we have to consider the pole minus 1. Here we are using herbicides method to find the value of a and b. Actually herbicides method use pole 0 diagram to find the value of a and b. So first of all we have we are considering this pole first pole and we will find out the distance of this pole from this 0. Similarly we are we will find the phase of this pole from this 0. Then we we will find the distance of this pole from this pole. Then we will find the phase angle of this pole from this another pole. Like that we are continuing. So first of all we will consider the pole at minus 1. 
so the distance between the zero to the pole minus one first we will find out that quantity that is the distance between the zero to the pole minus one is equal to one that is the distance so distance between zero to the pole at minus one is one that is distance so we are representing it as m zero one that is distance of the pole one from the zero will be equal to m zero one that is equal to one similarly we can find the angle between the line join you see here we are showing the pole zero diagram here first we find out the distance next we have to find out the angle of the line joining between zero and minus one here the angle between the line joining the pole at minus one to the zero locating at the origin is given by this will be the notation c phi zero one is the notation so that angle will be here it is marked as angle will be from the zero to this minus one is 180 degree here we are going from this zero to this minus one point so the angle will be 180 degree here you can find that this point minus one um, point here minus one is the pole and here the point is locating at the right side of this minus one so the angle will be 180 degree so that is a simple method to remember um, remember the phase angle so if the point if, if we are considering a pole and the point is right to this pole then the angle between will be 180 degree if the point is left to the pole then the angle will be zero degree so next see here now we are considering the zeros distance between the pole and the zero next we will consider the so these terms will constitute the numerator term next we have to consider the next we have to consider the pole um, next pole that is minus 3 so that we have to fi uh, find out the distance of this pole from this pole minus 3 so next step the distance between the pole at minus 3 to the pole at minus 1 is distance will be can be you know that here minus 1 pole and here is another one, um, pole minus 3 so the distance will be see you know that there is no um, uh, sign for the distance distance is a scalar quantity so distance will be what is the distance between minus 3 and minus 2 the distance will be 2 so the notation is uh, distance of the pole 1 from the distance uh, pole at minus 3 is m31 so m31 will be equal to 2 next we will find out the angle of this pole at minus 1 from the um, pole at minus 3 so that will be noted by phi 3 1 you know that here the considering point here the we are considering the um, pole minus 1 and the point is right to this minus 1 so the distance will be here we will measure the angle like this so the distance uh, so the uh, phase angle will be 0 degree so if the point is at the left of the uh, left of this point then then the dis, uh, phase angle will be 0 degree if we if we are considering another point which is at the right side then the angle will be 180 degree that is a um, uh, that is a method that we are uh, using here so we have find uh, we have find out all the distances and of all the phase angle so we can uh, find out the value of now what we are going to do is here we have an equation like this and we want to find out a and b from the pole zero graph so we will find out a as a will be equal to see a will be equal to we know that h into here h will be equal to 3 you can see that this is the question here h will be equal to 3 so we can find out a will be equal to h into m01 into e raised to j501 see this is the term which represent the distance of uh, distance of the pole from the zero and uh, here at the denominator it actually represents the line joining the or uh, line joining the pole from the other poles so a will be equal to h into m01 into e raised to j501 divided by m31 into e raised to j531 there are no other zeros that is why we are taking only this zero and also there is there are no other poles that is why we are taking only this term so we can substitute for m01 m31 and 51 and 31 so that we will get a value will be equal to minus 3 by 2 and here is the substitution of different values so we will get 
a value will be equal to minus 3 by 2. See, next we will consider the pole at minus 1, minus 3. See, now actually here first we are considering this pole. Next we have to consider this pole. So, we have to find out the distance of this pole from the 0. And next we have to find out the angle of or face of this pole from this 0. Similarly, we have to find out the distance of this pole from this pole. Also, we have to find out the phase angle of this pole from this pole. Okay, so that is the next step. So what we are doing is now we will consider the pole at minus 3. So distance between the 0 to the pole at minus 3 is given by here. This is the minus 3 and this is the 0. So distance between them is 3. So we will notate it as m03 that will be equal to 3. Next we have to find out the angle between the line joining the pole at minus 3 to 0. So this is the line joining. And we are considering this um, uh, 0. So the angle will be like this. So angle will be 180. You can see that this 0 is situating at the right side of this point. So the phase angle will be 180 degree. Similarly, next we will consider the um, uh, pole at minus 1. So distance of the line joining the pole at minus 1 to the pole at minus 3. Here minus 3 is the pole. Minus 1 is another pole. So the distance between them is 1. Sorry, distance between them is 2. That is distance is equal to 2. So, we will notate it as m13. m13 will be equal to 2. And uh, next we will find out the angle of this line joining uh, between minus 3 and minus 1. Here the point is locating at the right side. So, the face angle will be 180 degree. So, we can write that uh, 513 is equal to 180 degree. So, we can find out the value of B as B will be equal to H into M03 into E raised to J503 divided by M13 into E raised to J513. So, we will get the, the value of B by substituting these terms. So, we will get the value as 9 by 2. So, now we have the values of A and B. So, we can find out the time domain response I of T is equal to minus 3 by 2 divided by s plus 1 plus 9 by 2 divided by s plus 3. So, we will get minus 3 by 2 e raised to minus t plus 9 by 2 e raised to minus 3 t. This is the time domain response of the current I of s or I of t will be is equal to minus 3 by 2 e raised to minus t plus 9 by 2 into e raised to minus 3 t. So, also we have to verify this result by using analytical method. So, that is a simple procedure. See, we have the equation I of s is equal to 3s by s plus 1 into s plus 3. So, we have to represent this I of s in terms of partial fraction method. So, I of s will be equal to a by s plus 1 plus b by s plus 3. So, a will be equal to I of s into s plus 1 at s is equal to minus 1. That is analytical method. So, we will get a equal to minus 3 by 2. Similarly, b will be equal to I of s into s plus 3 at s is equal to minus 3. So, we will get b will be equal to 9 by 2. So, we can substitute the values of A and B in this partial fraction form. So, we will get I of S is equal to minus 3 by 2 into S plus 1 plus 9 by 2 into S plus 3. So, I of T will be equal to minus 3 by 2 into E raised to minus T plus 9 by 2 into E raised to minus 3 T. So, we have the, in the previous case, we have the same result. So, it is verified. So, analytical method is easy. It is simply writing the equations in partial fra fraction method and we will find out the inverse Laplace transform. But by using the false zero plot it is a uh, difficult method but if you are if you are asked for um, this method in the question you have to do in the same manner okay so this is the um, term uh, before doing the problem you have to go through the theory sessions then only you can write the m01 m31 and uh, e501 y31 etc that's all about this problem. Next, you can do a homework. That is question is draw the pole zero diagram for the given network function and hence obtain v of t. Here, the v of s function is 4 into s plus 2 into s divided by s plus 1 into s plus 3. So, here v of s is given. Here, h value is 4. And the 0 values are, 0 are locating at s is equal to 0 and s is equal to minus 2. And poles are locating at s is equal to minus 1 and s is equal to minus 3. So, that you can draw the pole 0 graph. Then from, from the pole zero graph, you can find out V of t. Before that, you have to find out different values such as m, m0, 1, m0, 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 1 and m0, 3. Similarly, 5, 0, 1 and 5, 0, 3 like that. You have to find out different quantities. Finally, you will get V of t will be equal to minus 2 e raised to minus t minus 6 into e raised to minus 3 t. That is the answer. You should uh, try to do this homework. 
and if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you